Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Let us accept Christ. Get ready for all that. What are you doing? Look back and enjoy some of the culture classes. Let me tell you, the nation's in passing together some great stuff. Can you do it? You know, the professional way of listening to the radio is perhaps one of the most enjoyable where you can simply tune in your favorite station with a good radio. So Crane is very happy to announce that that new Susan Radio EP is now available just for fun for the holidays. The Susan Radio EP is a very simple AM FM radio with excellent lead and perception. The performance is just as good as the Crane's best AM radio. The EP has no clock or alarm. You just simply you are down there. Well, I think that you can turn left and head in zero. Everyone who's returned from the same day has to listen. That's exactly the point. If you'd like to order the Radio EP from 6995, call Seacrane now at 1-800-522-8863. 1-800-522-8863. Seacrane will also make sure that your CC Radio EP just in time for the holiday. By offering a three day shipping to the 48 states, particular states, for only $5.95. But you must call by Monday by 10 a.m. Pacific time. And you can also do that by secreting at CC Radio. Thank you. 
firm grip and tight control over me in the blink of an eye really shocked me. And it caught me off guard. These thoughts were running through my head and I started trying to analyze what I was going through as fast as I could. That's when I started thinking, do I have to let this happen? I'm not powerless. I've got to try and do something. That's when I started analyzing if I could break this case, maybe I could gain some mobility back to do something. And you did temporarily, but then they took over again. Yeah, as soon as I broke eye contact with them and started walking backwards, that's when I was suddenly thrown through the wall and right down into the bed so hard that I remember being in midair bouncing out of it. But they come from another dimension. Why do you think that they would have such power over public safety and on this planet? I don't know. From what I heard about the subject, that they must have had some control over my nervous system. They must have had some way to manipulate electromagnetic energy that would manipulate my nervous system because I was an electrician at that time. And what I was feeling when I was frozen it was just as if I had my hand on a circuit that I couldn't let go of. And so I know there was something as far as energy or electrical about it that was affecting my nervous system. And I thought, okay, well, if they have some sort of technology or understanding how to project a field to control me this way, but the simple matter that I'm still conscious, I'm still thinking, I must have some control to counteract this. And that's when I started getting enough strength in my muscles and my right leg to start stepping backwards. And the reason I thought they're doing this with their eyes, they're doing this with their gaze, is because I saw, this is one thing I forgot to mention, the reason I started going down the driveway is I saw the corner of their, whatever it was they were in, sticking out from behind the house. And as I got closer and looked around and saw them inside, I wasn't paralyzed until I actually made eye contact. And that's what did it. When you think about December 2012, does anything specific come into your mind? Well, when everybody started talking about it, I started thinking back to that dream I had with the triangles in the sky. Because for some reason I feel like the dream was around that time in the future. When I think back to that 1977 instant, there's going to be some sort of overlapping in 2012 that involves dimensions where for a while we'll be able to peek through to something else and maybe some people will disappear. And if they do, if anything happens, it's not a bad thing, it's just a choice that they made. They can step sideways or transit into this next reality or dimension, and the people who want to stay here can stay. And that the triangles will be back, and that will signal to you that there might be this overlapping other dimensional issue at work? Right. I think the triangles, I couldn't tell if they were break vessels, black projects, extraterrestrial, or what, but I felt like they had something to do with an imminent event that was happening. And the reason they suddenly appeared and didn't care if anybody had seen them is because they had to transport people. Transport people into what you think is another dimension at that time because of some weakening or overlap or something that would allow transition to another dimension. Yes, so that's just a feeling of specific on my part. Are we talking about the so-called rapture of Revelation? Well, I thought about that, too, and I thought, well, you know, that's a pretty good description. I don't mean direct intervention from God or something like that. I mean it's something involving science. It's something under human or humanoid control. And if the science part could be that there are natural cycles and fluctuations in this universe that allow every once in a while for dimensions to overlap. Sure. Sure. And you know, the more I read and study about that, the more the bells start going off in my head. I start relating things that I've thought in the past. And having been a broadcast engineer, I do understand.